This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. The case of R.V. Dudley and Stevens is a unique form of crime, which revealed the significant underlying fact that one cannot defend himself or herself against a murder charge due to necessity. It is important that the case was an abhorrent one, which involved cannibalism and the murder of a crew member. The crew comprised Richard Parker, Edmund Brooks, Edwin Stevens, and Tom Dudley, the captain. A gale resulted in a yacht being hit with a powerful wave, which led to the abandonment of the ship with the use of a lifeboat. The loss of the yacht took place on July 5, 1884, and until July 7 of the same year, men survived by sharing turnips. On July 9th, the crew was able to spot a turtle and capture it for consumption. It should be noted that the lack of water was the most challenging part of the survival, and although the animal provided some amount of meat and bones, its liquids were contaminated with seawater. The thirst became an ever-increasing problem for the crew, leading them to take desperate measures of drinking their urine on July 13th. After three days, two crew members, Stevens and Parker, became sick due to drinking the seawater. After several days passed for their thirst and hunger to intensify, between July 16th and 17th, discussions about cannibalism began. The conversation gradually turned into a heated debate and arguments by July 21st, and after three days, Parker fell into a coma. The captain proposed to feed on Parker in order for them to survive and objected to Stevens having a family to take care of, but his arguments were not convincing. Around July 25, 1884, the captain and Stevens decided to kill Parker to cannibalize him. The key reasoning was that natural death would render the victim's blood undrinkable, and thirst was the most important incentive and problem. Although Tom Dudley claims that Brooks did not protest against the two, the latter claims that he was not involved in the decision-making. After saying the prayer, the captain used a penknife to stab the jugular view of the victim while Stevens was holding his legs in case of resistance. It was reported that Parker stated, What me? With confusion before dying from the attack. Subsequently, the remaining crew feasted upon Parker's corpse and consumed his blood to satisfy their thirst. It was reported that both Brooks and the captain ate the most parts of the victim's body, whereas Stevens only consumed the least. The crew spotted a sail on July 29th, which rescued them on a bark called Montezuma. The three men were brought to Falmouth on September 6th. The crew reported the loss of the ship in accordance with the Merchant Shipping Acts. There was a sense of belief among Stevens and Dudley that their act of cannibalism would not result in persecution due to the custom of the sea. However, the two crew members were charged with murder but they were able to convince the jury that it was an absolutely necessary action for them to survive, which did not result in any verdict. The case was transferred to the High Court, where Lord Coleridge decided that Stevens and Dudley were guilty. The death sentence was prescribed for the offenders, but the public outcry turned it into six months of imprisonment. The reasoning for the murder charge is that necessity does not justify murder in any situation. This essay on R.V. Dudley and Stevens, case summary was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.